Hey there, photo bestie. My name is Angelica, your photography coach, where I teach you how to build a profitable business in a brand that stands out. If you are a boudoir photographer, this video is for you because I want to show you how you can prepare your boudoir clients for their upcoming session. Many of your clients have probably never done a professional photo shoot before, let alone a boudoir session. So it's important for you as a photographer to guide them and make sure that they feel 110% prepared for their upcoming shoot with you. My biggest tip for you as a boudoir photographer is to provide your clients with a boudoir client experience guide that maps out everything that they need to know about their upcoming shoot. In this guide, it will basically be one PDF with all the tips, tricks, expectations, everything that they would need to know about their upcoming boudoir session. If you're not sure what to include in your client experience guide, here are five must have preparation tips to get you started. Tip number one, you want to send your clients a pre-session questionnaire. And in this questionnaire, you're gonna ask questions to get to know them. You can ask them maybe what are their favorite hobbies or what do they do for work? What are their favorite songs? What is their favorite beverage? And maybe the why behind their session. And you can use these answers to tailor your session towards their preferences. For example, if your client is a huge Beyonce fan, I will highly recommend having Beyonce blasting when they walk through the door. Although these details may seem small to you, they will definitely make your client feel seen and cared for, which will make your photographs that much better. Tip number two, you wanna explain the boudoir process. Nine times out of 10, your clients have never done a boudoir session before, so they probably have a lot of lingering questions, and the longer they're sitting on their date, and the closer it gets, the more questions they will have. So it is important to set expectations and explain the process. You wanna start with a basic timeline and details, such as when is their session, how long will their session be with you, where will it take place, the date, the time, and if you're providing hair and makeup, you wanna make sure that you tell them how long the glam will take before they step forward in front of your camera. Another part of the process that you probably want to explain further is when they will get their photographs. I don't know about you, but when I take professional photos, your girl is itching to see a sneak peek or two, wondering when I'm gonna get the gallery. And to eliminate all those wondering questions, I like to schedule my client reveal prior to the shoot. So they know they come in for their shoot and then they have their reveal date already set in stone. And if you're a photographer that practices IPS, which is in-person sales, you wanna make sure that you have that date on your calendar. And if you do it virtually or in person, just be sure to let your client know that their photo reveal is also the time they will order their products and digitals. That way they are prepared and ready to swipe that credit card. Tip number three, and this is probably the most frequently asked question, is what should we wear for our boudoir shoot? Always, always, always guide your clients in this, guys, because this is something so new to them that they probably have no experience in. I like to provide my clients with like a gist of a lingerie guide, like what to wear, where to shop, and they really are gonna lean into you as a photographer for this guidance. They probably don't have a ton of lingerie li lying around, so they're going to have to go shopping for it. I don't provide lingerie in my client closet just for sanitary purposes, um, but I also encourage it, my client that let this be an opportunity for you to shop for yourself and kind of push yourself out of your comfort zone just a little bit. And in this section, if you do not provide hair and makeup for your clients, you want to be sure to provide tips on the types of makeup look and hairstyles that would work best for boudoir photography. Tip number four, I like to give a little bit of personal care tips for our clients to prepare. Small things like if they should tan, why or why not, which if you guys know me, I preach to the kingdoms that our clients should not ta tan because you can see every streak, every mark, because your camera will pick it all up. Another thing I like to tell people is go, go treat yourself. Go get your nails done, go get a massage. Like 
Get yourself prepared for this lifetime of an experience for your boudoir session. And if you're not into getting your nails done, I always tell my clients, don't worry, just slap on a little press on, it will do the trick. The goal of sharing these personal tips is to make your client feel more comfortable and confident and love the body that they are in the day of their shoe. You can give lighthearted tips and it will go a long, long way, my friend. My last tip that I would include in the client experience guide is a 24 hour check-in email, my friends. You have no idea how much of an impact this email will mean to your clients. Ideally, your clients book you about 30 days in advance. So it's probably a good idea to set up an automation in your CRM system or in Google um, email to send out this email. And in this email, you want to include the date, the time, and maybe even a photograph of what your studio looks like. So that way we're there driving around trying to find your location and makes it easier for them to find. At the end of the day, a prepared boudoir client will exude confidence. And honestly, there is nothing sexier than a confident woman and you cannot convince me otherwise. While there's so many ways to prepare your clients, there is no excuse for you not to prepare your client for their boudoir session. As you know, every detail matters and you wanna make sure you give them the best possible experience ever. The goal for your boudoir client is to have them leaving your studio feeling like a badass, confident queen and raving about their boudoir experience with you. So while listening to this video and watching and making notes, it might seem a little hard for you to make this into a guide yourself, making it well-written, well-designed, so if you wanna skip the hassle of writing and designing this process for your client boudoir experience guide, check out the link in the description below. This is my guide that I give my clients and it has everything that you need. It's easy to brand in Canva. You drag and drop the photos that you want to include and you can pass this along to your clients so they can feel 110% prepared for their upcoming boudoir shoot. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos. 